All right. That love Clark, AK Clark. All right, it's time to do something I said I was going to do. And I'm going to start with each person <clears throat> that I can remember offhand. And then I may go back uh, where I made personal attacks on people without doing enough evidence uh, on my own. And basically, you know, I know that I'm my own person, I'm my own man, I make my own choices. But I was unleashed like a dog on people uh, by somebody. And uh, so this apology is for Angelo, John Gage. I'm only apologizing for attacking you without doing my own evidence, uh, ev my own research, sorry, okay? Uh, that's the only thing, okay? And uh, as far as, you know, I n now I'm not saying that I'm right or you're right. I'm saying in that area, I could have been, had a different approach and uh, being in judgmental state, not doing my own homework about you has gotten me into trouble by listening to other people that I trusted. I went like I was uh, a dog, basically, yeah, let loose like a dog. So it's kind of like I was somebody's lap dog and a laugh, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, that doesn't matter, that's changing now. But I, I did wanna say, regardless of uh, what I said in the past, you know, uh, and I, or if I agree with everything you say, I don't, but you do have a pro-white message and you're trying to spread a pro-white message. And my point is that we can be pro-white and there's also a thing I want, I want people to start using a word called pro-race, okay? Well, this can encompass all the people of different races. Not in the same club, but we can all use the term. So that way people uh, can all be included in being able to uh, love their own race and have pride in their own race, to stand up for their own race, and don't, don't take no bullshit from no other races, okay? If you were another race, would you take the bullshit? I don't think so. So, and regardless of your race, you know what, man? Um, that shit shouldn't matter as long as you're being righteous. And you know what? If you're making your money off of people and that people want to send you money, hey, man, more power to you in that regard, okay? As far as the begging thing I said, okay? But, you know, the other thing is you're not robbing Christians or you're not robbing... Um, you're not trying to teach the uh, scriptures and teach them God, okay, and rob them that way. So at least you're not trying to trick them with religion, religiosity, okay. Some of your points I agree with, and you know what, you know, sometimes I just don't like your attitude. Maybe it's because we clash. That's, that's fine. You don't have to agree or, but just because maybe there's certain people that are pro-white, we don't have room for, for uh, not accepting anyone that's down for the, for the cause, okay, of being pro-white, but also the pro-race message. If you're black, if you're Asian, if you're Muslim, you know, Arab, you're Persian, if you're any of those things, even hipparu, if you, even if you're a hipparu, okay, uh, all that stuff. Pro race, because everyone has a right to be pro their own race. Everyone does. Everybody does. Okay? Mixed races, you got to take a stand. Okay? It's like X Men. Take a stand or join the Brotherhood. You know? um, but what my scripture is saying is practice what I preach, basically. Okay? And I want to show you that it's not all foolishness, that it's not all fairy tales. Miracles can happen. And I do apologize for anything that was out of place, that I did not study, uh, that was offensive, harmful, um, or unright, or unjust, okay, in those places. I don't know. 
God has to be the judge of that. So, I just wanted to tell you, sorry about that. I apologize. You know, it takes a man to, a real man, to stand up and apologize to people when they know they're wrong. And I was unleashed like a dog, okay, without knowing, you know, just, uh, well, you know, if you guys watch my videos, this is my personal diary anyway, my personal thoughts, and I share it with you on YouTube, so it doesn't matter, but uh, you, uh, uh, if you're following along, you know who I'm talking about, so it doesn't matter, but at least you're not hiding, okay, you get in front of the camera, whether you're white or non-white or whatever they want to say, you're not hiding behind the can. you're not hiding, you're in front of the camera, and you're speaking in front of the camera, and you don't hide your face, and for that, hat off, hats off to you, okay, all right, so, I want to squash all the bullshit about whatever, you know, you can still hate me, you're the only one, actually, you know what, but here's the thing, I didn't go on, I don't think I went on any, hardly anyone's actual channels and started trying to combat them in the comment section. Everybody comes to my comment section to combat me, but I don't go to theirs. I don't attack channels, I make my own video responses. And I was trusting somebody else's word that I thought was honest, okay, or telling the truth. But they just love to, uh, they're the dark end, okay. Uh, I don't know what to say about that because a lot of the things are good. So it's kind of like these bars. Right now I'm in kind of a spiritual jail, all right. See the spiritual jail? Okay. And the reason why is because if you don't forgive, if you don't forgive people, um, you can't be forgiven according to the scriptures. So you see we practice what, what we preach, even though I'm not a preacher. I'm just a sheep concerned for the other sheep. And, uh, you know, um, this. Uh, as long as you're being pro-white, then you can be pro-white. And let's spread this pro-race message, you know, that we don't have to just be pro-white. You can be pro-race. Whatever race you are, be proud of it. Investigate it. Study it. Look at your roots. Okay, and uh, check it out because, uh, and then study your other, uh, you know, I'm, I've already told people, and I'm not ashamed of it, I'm Cherokee, I'm white mostly, but I'm Cherokee, a lot of white people in America say this crap, but they're really not, when you come to find out, they're not, but I am. I am, I know I am, I've seen my grandmother, I've looked at her face, I've looked at other people's faces that were native, she has uh, some of the features uh, spot on, uh, even a native person that saw my grandmother in the doctor's office, my grandmother's white looking, okay, she's white, her skin is white, she has dark hair, and she has Indian looking eyes, okay, and uh, the native said, are you a Native American? My grandma said, well, I guess I am. Uh, he said, I could tell uh, your features that you had Native American blood. So, even other Native Americans have recognized it. But it doesn't matter. See, I'm even more whitewashed than my grandmother. But it doesn't matter. So what I'm saying is, if you're, uh, if you're whatever race you are, be pro-race, okay? And... Uh, Love your neighbors, and you know what? Forgive other people. Okay, that's what this is about. I'm not saying everything I said was right or wrong, or what you say is right or wrong. But what I do want to apologize is for attacks being unleashed without knowing and doing my own homework about these people. That was in judgment. That was an error. Regardless of the person that unleashed me was right or wrong about you, I need. I should do my own homework, and everyone else should too. So, is that Love Clark? I hope you, you know, can take this apology. I need it to be out of the spiritual jail. And uh, so, I'm admitting my faults, and I got, uh, I've got balls, okay, to do this. Because I've made a lot of uh, commotion and jokes, but that's over. That should be over now. I mean, you know, not the funny stuff. 
But what I'm talking about is being aware of the fact that, um, you know, it's time to mature and grow up some. You know, not everything's going to be a joke, and everything doesn't have to be a, a joke about hateful stuff or a joke about this or, uh, you know, hateful remarks. It's time to move up, move on, grow up. And uh, that's what I think I recommend for myself and other people, which I will be addressing later in other videos. So there's more people to apologize for. So just tune in for that, and you'll see what a real man does when they're wrong, okay, and other people hide behind a curtain and they don't get in front of the camera and but they tell other people that they need to get in front of the, the camera and identify themselves yet they won't do it themselves they're wrong so those people were in the wrong to feed me information without me investigating on my own and just trusting what they're saying okay so I apologize for that that's all I'm apologizing for now I'm free and I'll move on to the next okay so Angelo sorry okay peace with you if you can make it if not I, I understand okay